Oh, guys, it's uh, uh, Saturday morning, March 26, 2011 here. And I fig I have an, uh, a video of the Craftsman LTX 1000 Part 6, yeah. No, Part 7 uploading right now, so you'll get to see it in a little bit. But, um, yeah, I'm a little bit behind on the videos. They take about two hours to upload. Uh, so, we're on part, this is working part 8 right here. And, um, is what we got is, I didn't make a video of it, but I got everything on. So, it looks pretty good now. Yep, I got my covers on and the OHVs on and the valves all open and closed when the motor spun. I cleaned all this out. That's a mess. Plastic gear, believe it or not. How much junk is that? Uh, I had to splice two two wires together because they were not wanting to work. They were ate up or something. I think the flywheel rubbed them or something. But um, clean this all up. We're getting ready to put our flywheel on now. And then I'll put on my magnetos and I'll gap them. And there's not much left in the box. Just our magnetos. And I found all the screws. That's our carb right there. And then that's our cover. I'm not going to put any of that on, really. I will put that fan on, though. And then that's just our cover for the motor. So that'll all stay there. It's just our cover. Um, but, yeah, we're, get, we're getting there. We'll definitely be able to fire it up probably today. Maybe. All right, guys. Uh, this is going to be... Well, not another part, but uh, my battery went dead. So when it did, went dead, I went up to the store, Tracker Supply, and I went and got me my two spark plugs and an oil filter. I also got some carb carbon choke cleaner because I'm going to need that one day eventually. And I got some more gloss black paint for the truck. And my dad bought some more black paint to paint his grill. Uh, here's our two spark plugs, three dollars a piece, and our oil filter. There we go. Ready to go. Let's finish putting this together. I got my flywheel on. Everything's looking good. The motor spins a little hard right now. I think once it gets lubed up, it'll spin a lot easier. So... We're going to put that on, and then we'll go to the next step. Alright, guys. We have everything hooked up. Uh, it took about maybe in a half hour to an hour. I don't know. I wasn't counting. Shoot, I'm just looking at my face here. I'm sure I'm dirty from all this grease and stuff. Uh, I got the carburetor all hooked up with the new gas lines because the odor all messed up. So now we're going to start putting it on. Here, give you a look at it here. Looks pretty good. Start taking that other motor junk, piece of junk off now. Uh, but other than that, it looks pretty good. Let me know if I have some hooked up wrong. It looks like I have everything hooked up right. Turn the light on there. There, there's that oil pump thing. That's I don't I think the throttle is gonna hook up right there. So, yep, looks good, though. Next step, we'll be putting it in. Well, guys, we got the motor all on the tractor now. It's not bolted down or nothing, but it's just sitting on there. You can tell it's not up here anymore. It's a little heavy, sucker. Um, I am going to have to take the guard off for the muffler down below and put, because I can't get the muffler into the holes really easily yet. So we'll have to mess with that a little bit. Get that muffler on there. Then I'll be able to line these holes up because the motor ain't even lined up on the holes to bolt it down. And then we'll be able to see how this sucker is going to go. Hopefully it'll fire up and just run like a champ. Because it spins over now that it's sitting down. It spins over pretty good now now that it's sitting down. When it was sitting on the table, I had to use a wrench to move it, so. Um, nope, well, I just spun it by hand. I didn't hear no ticks, so. 
looks pr looking good. Hopefully, we're not gonna have no more problems, and we'll get it bolted on. We'll be able to try it here in a little bit. I gotta go get. I'm gonna go get some lunch. I'm gonna go get some lunch, and then I'm gonna come back out here. I'm gonna get this motor bolted down, and once I get it bolted down, I'm gonna put my oil filter on, there's two spark plugs on, and throw some oil in it. I'm not gonna hook the gas line up yet. Ooh, I forgot to buy one of them. I'm not gonna hook the gas line up yet until I'll just spray gas in the carb for now until we know it's gonna run. I'll just spray a little shot of gas in the carb and see how it runs. So yep, we're getting done. And we'll be able to use it soon. Then once I get this tractor going, then I gotta work on the mowing deck. That pool, that pool, you don't sound good. I know the blades aren't no good. They're all bent up. The belt still looks pretty decent. So, yep, 42-inch deck. But, yep, we're getting it together pretty good. Take, this is about a two-day project if you go at it pretty quick. Nothing left in the box besides that cover and some mowing deck parts. But this is the old gas line. Look, at, it don't even bend hardly. It's so brittle. So, yep, we're done with that now, and now we'll go to eat some lunch, so let's see how this goes. Thanks for watching. Well, guys, lawnmower 17 here, and we got our motor all hooked up. We're about ready to give it a try here. Got my shed all opened up. Um, there's a lot of pollen floating through the air today, I can tell that, but our motor's all hooked up. I wasn't quite sure if the governor was hooked up right, but we're going to be trying it out pretty soon and see if it works. So, we'll try it out here in a little bit and we'll see if it fires up. I don't know if I can record it the whole time because my camera's not charged up right. It won't hold a charge, but there's our new oil filter. We're going to jump start it. I put oil in it. We're just going to spray ether in the carb for now. Not ether, but my gas right there for now. So we're going to get this, give this a try here in a minute. So we'll let you know. Well, guys, it's got fire. I just tried hooking the jump starters up to it. It's got fire. We've been jump starting it with the battery. But now we got it on the charger. It did try to fire. It had some firepower. It's getting sparked. That's what I meant. Um, I got gas in the tank now, and there's gas in here. You can see it. I'm trying to get gas up. It needs to suck some gas. Everything's dry on gas, so. Um, we're going to about to fire it up and give it another try here. So I'll let you see it. See what it's doing. She's wanting to smoke, probably because it's got a bunch of crap in it. It's got a bunch of new parts, it's got oil, it hasn't ran in a while. But it's looking like it wants to fire, so... Next, we're just going to get the uh, gas, we're going to get it to stay running on gas, so... That's what we're going to try to do. Alright, and then we'll let it run a little bit, I'll show it to you. 